So this is part two guys, good news, I took a little stylus, I have been lying around here for quite a while and if you haven't seen part one we just have taken out nine screws here and we removed the bottom uh, legs here on the back because there was two more screws right there also um, how what I did exactly check out uh, part one but then we had a little trouble taking off here the bottom cover because on the back the hinge has this um, half round um, style I can show you on this side which goes actually just below the um, hinge right here um, so as you can see it was it's not that easy to take off this uh, metal part um, right here in the picture. I hope my camera is also focusing. Um, so this was not that easy. It's still on on the other side. That's what I'm going to do um, here now. So this is how it would originally look like um, when you just have the back cover on. You have here the um, bottom um, cover going below the hinge that is uh, this screen because the screen is going actually here just above the whole mechanism. So Asus had a quite cool design here but it's really hard uh, therefore to take off this metal cover. I did it on one side by just really taking here a, a tiny little um, stylus you can also use um, from your biro or anything like that, um, your pen. Um, the mine and then just going in here and what I'm going to do now is do that on the other side so you guys can see that it's totally possible just really easily go in here um, I didn't do it with a screwdriver since I didn't want to mess up uh, here the um, the metal or anything like that and then just lift it up a little bit to the top and now you can see ha, finally we have it off um, you can see passed uh, on 18th of October 2013 nice little metal can hear it really really slim and this is what will protect your ultrabook on the bottom. This is how it would look like from inside. Let me get a little bit close so you guys can see everything here. So really big battery, really big hard drive which we want to upgrade to an SSD. There is the RAM, uh, the fan and the heat pipe and the SSD by SanDisk. A little bit closer again. Here we go. Also some wireless parts and so on and so on. Graphics CPU, GPU. I hope this was enough of a close-up. Let me shoot a real quick picture with one of my smartphones. I have not lying around somewhere here. And then we can continue upgrading the um, hard drive to a nice little SSD like this uh, Samsung 512 gigs, which is available for um, about two to three hundred bucks right now, which is a lot cheaper uh, than upgrading or buying the device with a 256 um, gigabyte of SSD. Since um, yeah, you get double the space for the same uh, price if you do it yourself. And we still have the warranty. There's just one sticker here: warranty void if seal is broken. I've read that before. But for the hard drive, which is only protected here by three screws, um, which I will take out right now, you don't have to. Um, violate uh, that rule for ASUS so um, upgrading the RAM or your um, SSD or hard drive is quite legal. So taking our three screws here it's clearly visible which three you have to do. I will show you in a second though still from a close-up and we can actually go a little bit closer right now also so you guys can see a little bit more. So let's do it like this. Here you go. Third screw right here on the bottom. There we go. And now let's see what I have to do. I think I just have to lift it up. Depending on how tightly it's in here. But it seems like also from the side there are some screws holding it. But I'm not sure right now if I don't only have to lift it up a little bit and then slide it out. Does not seem like it. Like it would be that easy. I don't want to take out the battery though. Definitely don't want to take out the battery. It would be really quite stupid if it's that hard to take out this hard drive.
Ah, I see, I didn't see a screw right here, which is holding it down tight, just under a cable, but I don't have to remove the cable here, so I can remove the screw. That's why it wasn't moving a bit. Screw is unscrewed, I just want to take it out. Here we go. It's like a surgery. Yeah, now it's moving a little bit more. Well done. Still not enough though here in the back. Doesn't want to move a bit. On this side it's going up and down. Maybe I do have to remove the battery, which is quite sad because there's quite a lot of screws. But it seems like under the battery there's two more screws, yes, on that side holding it down, so... Well, okay. As always, it's more complicated than we wanted, so removing the batteries will take us one, two, three, four, five, six screws on each side too. And there's actually two more even there, so it's eight batteries. So Ace is making our life a little bit complicated here, but at least we can check if they told us the real battery size. So while I'm doing this, I can actually just show you guys that the removing or changing the um, RAM is a little bit easier. You just have to take it off and here we go. So no screws, no nothing else required. Just pull these two pins to the left and right and then you have your RAM here. We have a 4 gigs of RAM integrated right here below this one, but above that we have 4 more, so you can upgrade this to an 8 gig or 16 gig cell, um, so that would be a little bit better. And uh, let's see what company this is, because it just says um, Alpida here, and it says uh, a completely different, I think Micron right here, since it has a little M and a um, circle. Putting back in a new MS um, RAM is quite easy. Just make sure to buy the right one. Um, just pull it, push it back in till you don't see the golden ends here, and then push it down till it clicks in, and then you have your RAM upgraded, and you can close up your notebook again. Not that easy with here this back cover, but we will see what uh, we can do. I hope um, it works out. So let me continue here with the battery. 4 of 8, we are halfway done, then only 2 more for the hard drive and then we are finished. If you want to upgrade this tiny little SSD that's also possible because that's also now available by Samsung in quite big capacity, the MSATA, and then you can put even in here one terabyte of um, hard drive space maybe if you want, you can just leave the 500 gigs for maybe movies that you want to watch sometimes and you can always just copy uh, one or two movies to the um, SSD um, to have uh, less battery consumption while you watch the movie so that the hard drive doesn't have to um, spin all the time. Just leave that in there for a second. Last screw here for um, the battery. Finally, one screw, second screw. Lift that out. Somewhere, of course, it's connected. That's right here. We don't have to disconnect it though, since we only need the two screws right here that are below the battery that we want to unscrew. And we still didn't void the warranty, which was not our intention anyway. Voiding the warranty is actually just here on the CPU. When you remove the CPU um, heat cooler um, or heat pipe, then you will void the warranty. Now the hard drive is really soft and smooth to plug, uh, pull out and here we have the hard drive. So this is how easy it is. We just needed 8 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9. Just combine those numbers and then you have your um, hard drive removed. It's less than 20 but still um, quite a lot little sticker here um, yeah so now all you have to do is unscrew these four screws take out the hard drive put in the new SSD where's my SSD right here 
um, it's a standard height um, hard drive inside here so even uh, nine mil uh, I think 9 mm I'm not sure this is a, a 500 uh, SSD 830 series uh, 512 gigs I think this is a 7 mm one but I I will just post it here in the description what this was um, so yeah this is a standard hard drive now you just have to put it back in put back on all those screws I won't um, torture you with that now and then you have your um, UX 302 LA upgraded to more RAM if you want to and even more hard drive space till next time peace and again I hope you liked uh, this uh, little review uh, we will sh uh, shoot a little uh, more pictures now and thank you much for watching